to to react that way. You know, that's the truth. It's the it's the love that they have for me. But I, at the same time, you know, people are people are talking about something that they know. They don't know the roots of Ma, it. Yes, that's the problem. That, that's exactly there, there's always why. A, there's always a there's always a reason for something. They don't yes. know the roots. They don't know the yes. roots. Uh, everybody who is shouting and insulting me, they don't live in my house. That's it. That's the problem. <laughs> they don't that's live in my house with me. So so you don't. And, and nobody has said. I mean, you. What is the, what seem be the problem? What is the issue? You know. Uh, and, Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching what is good. I am Jade if you're new here. So today we are discussing Yule Doce because recently Yule Doce granted an interview to music exec Paul Okoye. This took place on Instagram. And during that interview, Yule Doce had a few choice words for his detractors and those criticizing him for his family drama essentially and Yule Doce has now decided to take the easy way out which is essentially to blame his first wife for his philandering blame his first wife for his mistakes and um I was listening to Yule Doce and the only thing that I just kept thinking about was how incredibly clueless this man is maybe it's intentional maybe he's conveniently ignoring or failing to understand what people were outraged about what you does not understand is that this is not so much about what he did this is not about how he cheated on his wife even though it's really bad especially considering the fact that he has always portrayed his family in a very different light you know only for him to let a lot of people down it is not even so much about that because some people will argue that men will be men whatever that means to you but the main reason why a lot of people are outraged is because of the way you embarrassed your wife this is the same woman that you volunteered an information that nobody even asked for about last year or two years ago where you talked about how when you married your wife you had nothing you were in between jobs and she has never stressed your life she has never frustrated you so the image that you painted before everyone was basically that this woman was like heaven sent to you and i'm not saying that you should come here to bash your wife or badmouth your wife or whatever that's not what I'm saying, but you didn't have to say all those nice things about her if she wasn't good to you, like that you feel you have to defend yourself now. You didn't have to, nobody even asked you. It was something that you volunteered on your own. So, and that's another thing. If what you are now saying that nobody really knew what was going on in your life, in your marriage, blah, blah, blah. Basically insinuating that all was not as hunky-dory as you painted it out to be. If that is the case, that just goes to show that you two were living a fake life. And that's even more reason why we can't trust you because nobody asked you for the information that you volunteered only for you to now be saying that those things that you volunteered were not necessarily true and it did not really paint the correct picture of your family so that means you are a liar you are a deceiver you live a fake life too as well i don't understand so anyways let's go ahead and listen to what mr yule doche had to say about those of us that are criticizing him and yeah i'll be right back to react that way you know that's the truth it's the, it's the love that they have for me but I, at the same time you know people are people are talking about something that they know they don't know the roots of Ma, it yes that's the problem that's exactly there, there's always why. A, there's always a there's always a reason for something they don't yes. know the roots so what exactly is the root because he's talking about it now as if there is more to the story since the information is already out there and you've already brought your family matter out there and you want people to understand and see things from your point of view so this would be the perfect time for you to actually tell us the roots it's just very unfortunate that this man has now embarked or at least trying to embark on a smear campaign against his wife I don't know what he's hoping to gain from it but this is not the right way to go this is going to make him look 
even worse because right now he's trying to like do some damage control throwing your wife under the bus does not seem like a wise thing to do in my opinion anyways i'm just saying they don't know the roots uh everybody who is shouting and insulting me they don't live in my house that's it that's the problem <laughs> they don't that's live the in my house with me so so you don't I, I, nobody has said i mean you what is the what seem be the problem what is the issue you know uh, and and i mean as a man as a man you don't come out to 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 say everything in public of course you don't you might you won't yeah. take your your family and just put out there yeah so Olga, you're talking with both sides of your mouth here. Do you want people to ask you about what's going on or you don't want people to ask you? And besides, if people should ask you, would you tell them the truth? Would you give them an answer? Or are you just going to blow them off and let everyone just come to their own conclusion? Because right now, you it seems you don't know what you want. I'd rather take all the heat uh, than they insult me, no problem. <laughs> <They'll> be, <laughs> they will not understand. You know, that's and, what and that's what I say to never... people. People don't know, people don't know what make a man to do what he, you of know, course. you know. But of course, you know, I understand people as well. The way they take you as well. Of of course, of you know, course. I understand that. It, they take you, the they it's take the you, the, the, the son of the, the son of uh, Jesus Christ. So nothing <laughs> you do, you know, because there's a heat argument I have with some of them. I say you, you know, without you know, you must, we are not perfect. Nobody is perfect. But sometimes, you know, things can happen and we keep on moving. That's the only way we can survive in this world. You know, of course, of course, of you course, know? It's, true. it's true. And then, and one thing, somebody always, somebody sent, somebody sent me a message. Bro, are they, are they, are they for our phone? Eh? Someone said, someone sent me a message and said I should do a press conference. <laughs> I, started laughing. I should do press conference in my family life. Press conference for you to address my family. <laughs> Are you in this? <laughs> or what do you mean by following the mother? I should do press conference and tell you how I'm living with my wife in, in my house. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> press conference, you know. So not, one thing I'll never do is is to make no matter what yes. I will never make my make my my wife Mary to fee, to uh, to look bad in no. public. No, I will never do that. No matter how much pressure they put, I wouldn't say uh, uh, this is because this is no 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 no. It's family, you know. It's family. It's under control. Um, I'm putting things under control. No matter how much yes. they insult me, they insult me. They talk about. You know, they, they about things is something that they know nothing about. They don't know the roots, <laughs> nothing. You know, they're not so. It's they're, they're the blue one. In, fact, in fact, the truth is, the truth is, uh, God, God is, God is preparing me for for Aso Rock. So I told them that. That's the truth. God, God. I told, I told, I told them that the potency you are going. You are going and the, I believe that God, so you, God is God is preparing you, me for the presidential seat because of course. The youth are following the youth are supporting you as a, as a, as a leader. True. And I'm 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 grateful for that. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'll never take that for granted. I you know as a leader. People must insult you. I mean, this is this is nothing compared to what what you go through by the time you sit on that seat as president. You will make certain decisions. You will make certain decisions. You will make certain decisions for the good of the people that certain people will not see the good side of it, and then they will insult you. They will insult you. People will be against you. You know, my message will give my coffin. Yeah, people will be of course. Coffin, so if if you're that kind of person who will react to yourself because you the government and everything. So but the only so thing if, is I think it's better yeah. it's better to address it that your family understands you have things that happen has happened, you can't change the clock back, you know, but you need to move on as a man and an unblasted man for that matter. So there's That's a loose and aggression as an unblasted man. 
That's the truth. You know, and that's so, what I say to Freeze. There's a guy called Freeze that is disturbing this story. I say, Freeze, you are not an Igbo man. So he cannot <laughs> come and start harassing us as an Igbo. <laughs> we have our loose and aggression, and we have things yeah. we believe in. So this is how it is. I know you, you know, in the eyes of uh, Nigerians, it's a mistake. But as a mistake man, that taking responsible of his mistake it's not a big deal you know i have i are we are we are we are we are we are we jesus Christ that we don't commit sometimes things will happen but they as a man you need to take responsible of things that happens as far as i'm concerned making sure your family is fantastic making sure your wife is good making sure that yeah. you know that's the most important. Any other thing yeah. is for you now to make it work. To, for you now to make, you know. Yeah. Who are we not That's to be, true. you know. That's true. Are we just trying not to make mistakes? We make mistakes every oh. day. Even the people now, Polygon, oh. now what you see now, child, they, even they make mistakes 100 times every second. You know, but we yeah. as a human being, but because people like you a lot, too, I'm not going to lie. They think to yeah. come <laughs> People like you so much. People love your family. They love your dad. They love you so much. That's why people are getting, you know, a Christianity. Muslim. Everybody yeah. is just... Yeah. But you yeah. need to tell them that everything is fine. Yeah. Your family yeah. is yeah. fine. Yeah, and we are taking care of your family. Of course. Everything is everything is fine. Everything is fine. Um, uh, you know, I promise. I promise them that, and you know, anybody who is uh, anybody who is insulting me and all that, no problems at all. Like I said, they are prepare, preparing me for for leadership. <laughs> and that's what you are working hard for the past two years. Of, of you know, course. of course, that's of what you are working hard for the past two years. And course. this one will not be a distraction to people. True. Who True. you are is who you are. Of you course. know, mistakes as a. <laughs> no, I Is it? But it will not make them not to be a leader. You know, you support, you're a leader from yeah. day one, and uh, that's why I like you. You are a good man. And people are telling me, why are you supporting you? Why are you supporting? You? Why are you? I say, what is going on with these people? Is a good man because normally, oh man, oh man, one small mistake, everybody will run away from him. Now, you know, we can't say more. Anyways, this is where I'm going to end this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.